In the current state of Genshin Impact, four stars are becoming harder to get than five star characters, at least if you want to max them out. And more often than not, for a four star to truly feel great to play, you do need their C6. And over the years, it's become more and more of a problem, whether you're a new player especially, or even if you're a veteran. The fact is that when a brand new four star comes out, they're not the free to play hero we want them to be. In fact, more often than not, four stars are becoming toys for whales. Welcome to Jello Impact, where we build and test every single character to help you decide who you want to wish for and build. Now this is something I've actually talked about before, but since I made it six, seven months ago, the problem has only gotten worse and Genshin is doing nothing to address it. And I've noticed more and more new players starting out asking for free to play teams, thinking that somehow four star characters are more free to play friendly. And the reality is that at this stage of the game, they're just not. In fact, it's getting so bad that when I recently made my tier list, I seriously and strongly questioned whether or not to even evaluate four stars at Constellation Zero as comparable to five stars at Constellation Six. This has been a debate for a long time whether four stars should even be counted at Constellation Six. In the beginning, it made a lot of sense because there were less four stars. I want to direct your attention to the Genshin banner history. And don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna go somewhere with this. There's a lot of moving parts that we have to kind of lay the groundwork for, and then we'll wrap everything up and bring it all together and talk about you know what you can do about this, what the, how what this means for your account, depending on who you are, why it's important, what Genshin should do, etc., etc., etc. But the first thing that we have to talk about is the frequency that four-star characters are rerunning. So if we go back to 1.0, you know, two out of the three broken four-star characters, two out of the three broken four star characters kind of mid banners pretty mid banner official and sucrose already rerunning all three of these rerunning for the first time most of these rerunning i think janian was new here all three of these rerunning bennett rerunning again sanctuary rerunning like a third time this is only 1.3 he's run every patch between 1.0 and 1.3 if you've wished on hu tao you might have wished on ganyu but even if you didn't you probably wished maybe you didn't wish on klee but one way or the another one of these banners you've wished on unless you're just doing a weird challenge and you're getting copies of Sing Cho. Same thing with Sucrose. Same thing with Shang Ling. They're rerunning often. Su Sing Cho getting another rerun with Eula. So that's how many reruns in patch 1.01, 1 .01, 2, 3, 4. So he's run four times in the 1.0 patches. What happens in 2.0? Well, we get one, two. So he only runs twice in the 2.0 banner. But you also have to consider there were much less four stars during the 1.0 and 2.0 era. The odds of getting a Sing Cho were actually pretty good from the standard banner. So there are 14 four stars at launch and so you had a 1 in 28 chance of getting a Sancho from the standard banner which I'll, I'll, I'll admit is not crazy high but most people are going to get one or two copies of Sancho from the standard banner as they use their intertwined fates or their acquainted fates but over the years we've had another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, almost triple the amount of four stars in the standard banner pool, meaning that you're probably never going to get a Sing Cho. Maybe you get one if you're lucky. And I use Sing Cho as an example because he is a 1.0 four star that really does want his C6. He gets a lot of energy. He gets extra Hydra application. He gets he gets a lot from his C6, extra damage. He's a character that really doesn't super pop off until C6. So you want lots of copies. Fortunately, though, he's a character that you can get from the shop. But another four star character that people tout as very free to play friendly and that I see on free to play guides all the time is Sucrose. And I people call me a whale these days, which I'm not a whale by the way. I get a few five star weapons here and there and I get one copy of every five star character. But I only just see six Sucrose like just a month ago. It took me, gosh, I don't know, seven, eight, nine months to get a single copy of Sucrose and then even then she does need her C1. And she is a she is a more free to play friendly character because she only needs her C1 to really pop off. Heaven forbid you actually want to main Chong Yun, who absolutely needs a C6. Shang Ling needs her C4. I see so many people, and myself included, I'm guilty of this as well, talking about how good and how free to play friendly Shang Ling is, and you need her C4 to be good. And yes, you can get her from the Star Glitter Shop, you can get Sing Cho from the Star Glitter Shop, you can get Fischl, you can get Beto, you can get Bennett, but how much Star Glitter are free to plays really getting? With that many characters, you don't get that many wishes as a free to play. And sacrificing seven wishes for a Star 
player character like yes it's worth it but you can only do it so many times and if you do it wrong you'll end up wasting wishes like say that character does appear on a banner you wanted you'll end up wasting wishes so going back to the banner history i want to look at 3.0 we had sing cho how many times one two twice again and then looking at 4.0 we had him once that's it so it seems like maybe we can and maybe we can extrapolate this pattern more it seems like maybe they aim to rerun four stars twice per patch which by the way is not sustainable as we continue to get more and more and more four stars but let's say they are managed able to somehow manage two four stars per version update what are the odds that that four star lands on the banner that you wanted like sure maybe you did want yalan and hu tao but what if you didn't what if you already got yalan what if you didn't want or what if you didn't want hu tao now you either have to build pity or hope that the next time he appears it'll be on a banner that you actually wanted which he ended up being on hu tao again and novelette and what if you it's it's very conceivable that someone didn't want novelette and this whole problem becomes so much worse if you're trying to target a character that's not on the star glitter shop like like i mentioned aforementioned sucrose but what if you want rosaria what if you want hazo what if you want kuki kuki is a huge one that's been a big problem because she is a four star staple for hyper bloom teams she got first introduced on artaki ito's banner so she ran once in 2.0 how many times did she run in 3.0 there was this there was once and then i think she came one more time on the nahida banner twice so this banner was great although i know a lot of people got nahida the first time and didn't want her but wanted kuki and then what have we seen in 4.0 has she not appeared yet oh there we go on sino and ayato and it's very conceivable that you didn't want sino or ayato and she's not available on the star glitter shop and not only that you know we've talked about for we've talked about first of all how dependent four star characters are on constellations which you might not be convinced of but we'll talk about that again but we've talked about how infrequent they appear on banners now think about how unlikely it is to actually get a four star character if you say you want to build pity and see which i don't recommend by the way because of how dangerous it is i recommend it sometimes like if you wouldn't if you really want the four star and you wouldn't mind getting the five star that can be okay but you start off with a one in three chance but you only have a 50 percent chance of even getting an on banner rate up so you actually have a one in six chance of getting the four star and sure sometimes you get some double four stars but still it's going to take you an average maybe not an average but if you're unlucky like on the unluckier side it could easily take you 40 50 pulls to just get one copy of the four star you wanted i know people's luck has been way worse and of course way better sometimes you get exactly what you want and sometimes you get two three five stars before you even get a copy of a four star so just just to get one copy of a four star it may take you 40 50 pulls to get a kuki to get a sucro to get a candace to get a chevra so it can t it took me i got c i got c3 raiden so i already had c0 but i got four more copies of raiden before getting c6 chevras i did that because i'm a raiden simp i still haven't activated my c0 raiden my c6 raiden because or c4 raiden because i want to build and test her at c0 for a bit longer but i wanted to test her with c6 chevras and i just couldn't help but think to myself what kind of person has a c6 chevras and a c0 raiden maybe a new player that saved up and and put a bunch of wishes and then also got lucky with chevras and got unlucky with their raiden pulls but more than likely you have a if you have a c6 chevras or a c6 sara you have a c2 raiden so why are we comparing c6 four stars with c0 five stars it doesn't seem to make any sense and again i'm very guilty of this it's just it's an easy standard to go off of when i'm making my tier list and when i'm doing comparison but i think that to assume that if you're gonna make a guide i'm not calling out guide makers this is what they've done for a long time where when we talk about free-to-play guides we're talking about you know one of the one of the hero free-to-play teams right is the taser team comprising of sucrose sing cho fischl and beto and i appreciate that you know this is a free-to-play friendly team and that but how, how many years is it going to take you to get all these characters from the star glitter shop you can't just target banners with these characters unless you're a day one player you don't have c6 of all these characters i'd love to hear what constellation all your guys's characters of i'd love to see like data spreadsheets of c of free-to-play players how long they've been playing and what constellation all of their characters are because i bet it's just a mega smattering of tons and tons and tons of different types of characters and so what i'm saying is it's very hard to assume that a free-to-play player will have all these characters like people always want free-to-play guides but your free-to-play is different than my free-to-play different than joe joey's free-to-play like all of ours are totally totally different and not only that but a lot of characters and i said at this beginning more often than not they get massive power spikes with their constellation like let's go through them game gaming huge power spike through his c6 you basically i basically don't recommend 
recommend building him unless you plan on getting his C6. Now, he's a Lantern Rite character, so you can guarantee at least one copy of him per year from the Lantern Rite. So that's really, really good. And hopefully he's on a banner that you want the character of like Shen Yun or something. But if you start getting unlucky with him and don't get copies of him and get a copy of Shen Yun, what are you supposed to do? Keep pulling? Like, that's a hard ask. Same with Cheveris. Yes, they're both, they're, she's good at C0. But if you really, really want her to pop off, you need her C6. So, and she's not available from the Star Glitter shop. She's not available anywhere. So what are you supposed to do? You're just supposed to wait and hope she's on a banner that you're looking to pull for. Charlotte pretty much needs her C4. Fremenet pretty much needs a C6. Lynette, if you want to really use her, properly needs a C6. Kave, Kave's a special crazy case. He hasn't rerun in over seven months. Kave's first banner was Baiju. And when was this? January, February, April, May. May of 2023. And we're already in February. It's been more than seven. It's been nine. That's nuts. That's nuts. And thankfully for most people, Kave isn't a character that they've tried to build. And I mean, also thankfully, people haven't been getting him because he only existed once on a banner that nobody pulled for because he's an awful character. But heaven forbid you actually want this character and you actually want his C6. I got kind of lucky and got him from the standard banner once or twice and as an off rate up. And so I actually have his C4, but even still, I don't even have his C6. But anyways, that's a huge problem. Mika pretty much needs his C6, at least for his physical teams. Yao Yao is a good guy character. She only needed her C0 or good, good girl or whatever. This sounds weird to say. He only needs her C0 to do everything. And she's a Lantern Rite character. Farazan absolutely needs her C6. At least she's been on this banner. Um, I know I have her as the thumbnail, but at least she's on this banner and isn't just glued to Wanderer. That is maybe the one area that things have improved since the last time I talked about this issue. Every other metric has gotten worse. It's been, it's definitely worse overall. But the one metric that has improved is that Farazan, they've shown they're willing to put exclusive characters with new characters because for a while she wasn't even on Zhao's banner and that was just super freaking annoying. Finally, she's on another banner. So that's really good. Layla is a character that is really good even at C1, but does want her C4. Candice, good enough at C1 to use on Nilu Bloom teams, basically her only great team. But if you want to use her outside of that, she basically needs her C6. Dory, if you want to use her in any capacity, needs her C6. Kale, her C6 is a big deal. Hazo, his C6 is a huge deal. Kuki only needs her C2, but we've already talked about how cancer it is to try and pull four stars and the banners she's been on have been really, really sus. How are you supposed to get yourself a Kuki? Yunjin needs her C6 to like really separate herself off as, as a buffer for Yoimiya or Wanderer or Ayato and even be competitive. Um, even though she's, she's not even the ceiling, but even be competitive. Goro needs a C6. He's only available on Ido's banner. Toma really needs a C4 to not have huge energy issues. Kujusara needs her C6. Sayu is sort of fine. Sayu National with Farina is really good, by the way. Try it if you haven't. Check out my four star Farina video, by the way. Um, Yanfei, I actually don't know. Rosara is pretty okay at early constellations. A bunch of the, these ones, she is kind of, these are kind of whatever. Diona, eh. Zucros needs her C1. Chongyun needs his C6. Noel really needs his C6. Bennett loves his C5, but doesn't need it. Really just needs C1. Fischl's kind of okay because she, her A4 is the most broken part, but her C6 is good for some teams. Ning Wang needs her C6 to be DPS. Singto needs his C6. Beidou, Beidou just wants C2, I think. Shangling needs C4. Razor is Razor. Barbara is Barbara. And I also did want to talk about Lisa, Kaya, and Amber because how on earth are you supposed to get these characters? On top of spending your Star Glitter, I used to recommend just spending your Star Glitter for pulls because you're already short on pulls as a free to play and seven pity is a lot to sacrifice. Like that's a lot to sacrifice for one single copy of a four star character like seven pity towards a five star is a lot to sacrifice. And now you're expected to not only get constellations of Bennett, of Sengsho, of Beidou, of Shangling, of Fischl from the Star Glitter shop, but also if you want to main Amber, Lisa, or Kaya to spend your Star Glitter there as a free to play, like that's tough. That's that's tough. We're in, we're in a tough spot. New players especially are in a really, really tough spot. So now that you can see that the majority of characters, oh yeah, Kirara also really wants her C4 for a lot of teams, not every single team. Um, she's still good at C0, but she does want her C4 for a lot of teams. As you can see, this is becoming more of an issue in both banner frequency and the power of the characters is baited and how many pulls it takes. Like, okay, if you're going to target down a four star character, like you say, okay, I love Candace because this is how I recommend playing. Take your favorite characters like and, and work towards max the value. Like I love Candace. I'm going to make her two best teams plunge Candace with Shen Yun and number two, um, Nilu Bloom. It's like, okay, we'll target get down Candace. I really want her C6. It's super good for both of those teams. It's like, well, she was on Barbara and Ganyu. Like that wasn't useful for you. So 
if you're smart, you should skip, but you really want Candace. So do you pull? Now you end up with Baiju. It's like, it's not bad, but like you don't even want Baiju on your account if you're pulling, if you're maxing Candace because you want, uh, you want Yao Yao as the, as the on fielder. So that's useless. When is the next time Candace appeared? Um, okay. She came back for Ayaka and for Navia. Well, hopefully you wanted Ayaka and Navia because Candace is no good with those characters. That's not, not part of either of her two good teams. So did you max out? Did you go for C, C, C0 of either of these? I mean, they're both pretty. They're both good DPSs, but like, did you, did you, did you do that? It wouldn't be smart. They would, it wouldn't synergize with your account. You would have preferred to be at a, Nah, a Nahida banner. And those have been your only options in the last year. So it's like, if you zoom out, it seems like you should be able to zero in and pick out your favorite character and like just zero in on your favorite four stars. But the reality is if as long, if they don't happen to land on a banner that you happen to like the character of, you're kind of screwed. You have to choose between a four star that you don't even have a guarantee of or a five or going for your five stars. So if you love four star, a four star, you want to get lots of copies with them, but they never appear, not on banners that you want. And if you wish for the five stars you want, you just end up with this random smattering of four stars. Four stars and get- And there is another issue that I talked about before is this idea of overlapping roles. I think that this has been addressed a little bit because nowadays, more and more of the four stars are more and more unique. But it's definitely a fact that four stars are having overlapping roles with five stars. At this point, it's almost like forget ever targeting Sucrose because when when are the when are the times she's appeared? Ayaka and Shenha, which you don't even want Sucrose with Ayaka Shenha, you want Kazuha. And then since then, has she even appeared? Yes, with Ayaka and Navia, and you don't even want Sucrose on those teams. So it's like at this point, it's like just forget Sucrose. And it's like don't even don't even bother with Sucrose. Just get Kazuha. It's like why would you bother investing into Sucrose if you should get just get Kazuha? It's like, should you really invest all of that into Beto or should you just pull on Yai if she happens to have a banner with good four stars? Not this upcoming banner. That banner has bad four stars, but in general. And the overall point being, if you're going to invest as many wishes into a four star, you might as well just go for a five star. And then I'm starting to think maybe free to plays rather than targeting a C6 Sing Cho. What if you just target, what if you just target a C2 Yolan? What if you just target a C2 Farina? Because at least then, you have a guarantee. I'm not saying people should do this. You know, I'm not saying it's the better, it's the better idea, but it's such a crapshoot to target four stars at all. They simply become, and this is where it all comes together. They simply become toys for whales. Gomming is not a free to play hero DPF. He needs a C6 to be a great DPF. Hu Tao is a free to play DPF. And it sounds weird, but like the amount of pulls it's going to take you or time it's going to take you or investment to get a Gomming is so much higher than a Hu Tao. Gumming is actually like basically a whale toy. If you got, or if you hyper invest and got a C2 Shenyun, then you probably got a C6 Gumming, but otherwise you probably didn't. I know a lot of people that couldn't get their hands on a Kuki, so they got Raiden to be their hyper bloom trigger. They got Raiden Shogun because they could at least guarantee a Raiden and couldn't guarantee a C2 Kuki and Kuki wasn't on banners that they even wanted. Obviously characters like Bennett and Shangling don't have alternatives and they're available in the Starglitter shop and Shangling is available for free anyways. But I would say that Diluc even is a way more free to play character than Gaming. Sucrose isn't the free to play character you think she is. A lot of people to talk about how great Sucrose is, especially in Aggravate, they talk about her C6. But if you're a free to play, just getting a C0 Kazuha, that's a much, much better idea. At least you can guarantee it. I love Chevrus. She is so, so much fun at C6. At C0, she's good, but it's where C6, she really pops off. And she, it really just feels like a whale toy. It feels like like I spent money to get this character to make my Raiden broken, but it's going to be years, if ever, that a free to play gets to use a C6 Chevrolet. You have to be a dedicated. And when I say whale, like you could just be a dedicated free to play where as long as she does appear on Raiden banners or you get lucky or whatever, then yeah, C6 Sara, C6 Chevrolet along with your C2 Raiden. Yeah, that's going to slap. But she's not more free to play friendly than getting like Nilu, than getting Nahida. These are your free to play saviors are not four stars. They are the five star staples. They are Kazuha, Nahida, Farina, etc. And normally, and I'll, and I'll make a video on the free to play staples towards the end of the, towards the end of uh, Fontaine. And Yolan, these are the free to play heroes, not the four stars. And that's where I think we're at. So where, what does Genshin need to do to save the four star situation? Because I actually believe it's a problem because it's not fun to just wait and hope that the four stars come home. It's not even fun for whales because you can't ever 
guarantee. There's two things they need to do and that they should do as soon as possible. They should add an epitomized path to this banner. So whenever a four star is here, after you miss that four star for let's say three times, the next one is a four star, or maybe it's two times, just like the other epitomized path, right? A zero out of two. They add a little epitomized path down here after you don't get, after your, especially if it's your on banner four star, but even I will just say any four star. After you miss it twice, it's gumming. Miss it twice, gumming again. And that, and maybe that's like a bit too generous of them. Maybe it's three, maybe it's, I, know, I would take it. Whatever it is, as long as there's a guarantee eventually. In addition, add that same counter over here, a second one for the four stars, because it is insanity that you can, that not, this is this is a one in 10 to get these, because it's it's like you have a 50-50 to even get an on banner weapon, and then it's a one in five. That's, that's, that's insanity, actually jelly beans. So epitomized panner for four star weapons and an epitomized path for four stars and five stars on the standard banner. The state of the standard banner is an absolute train wreck. It's a mess. There's way, way too many things that you can get from the standard banner these days. And the fact that you can't work towards it is just, is just, is just ridiculous. So will this actually happen? I think they're going to do something. Oh yeah. The other thing that of course they can do, and I'm sure a bunch of you already left this comment, they should add more four stars to the shop. This would be a good alternative. If they didn't want to do the epitomized path, they could just add more four stars to the shop. You'd see Farazon, Chevrolet, etc. down here. They could even do kind of like what they do in the strong box where they only get added the region after. So Chevrolet won't appear yet. She'll appear next region or even the region after, which would be a bit, you know, a bit scummy, but I'll take whatever. If they just start adding Inazuma characters down here, I'll take it. Then the next year they add Sumeru. I don't care if we're two regions behind, as long as it's coming, I'll take it. I just want to see this instead of just being two, I want to see it be like six or seven or eight and it rotates and then we can get them like that. That's the other thing that they could do. And I just think that would just make everyone feel happier. It would make them feel better about spending money. It would make them feel better um, because because they could also they could still have the FOMO aspect, right? Where it's not like you can get them right away from here. You maybe have to wait a long time. And so there's still that FOMO. If you want them now, you still have to spend and people, you know, but it would at least make it feel less scummy because I got because I, I got to say, guys, the four star situation is just feeling scummy. They don't feel like free to play characters like Fremenet. And because it's for a lot of these, the reward at the end of the day is not even that great. It's like you love Fremenet, you work hard to build them. And then at the end, each C60 is not even that great. So at least, at least let us work towards it. And let me know your thoughts. I laid into it pretty hard here. I said exactly what I think. And, you know, hopefully no one misconstrues this. I love Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is my favorite game. That's why I have a channel, blah, blah, blah. But getting a, uh, getting a C4 uh, Raiden Shogun, I'll show you a C4 Raiden Shogun before getting a C6 Chevrolet is just like, eh. So that's what I think. Let me know what you think. Check out my tier list over here. I worked really hard on it. And I and let me know if you think that I should either consider C2 five stars, C1 R1 five stars, if I should just consider like C3 four stars, if I should add them all in somehow, if I should do a second tier list with like one with free to play investment, one with more investment. I'm still thinking about it. It's tough. Let me know your thoughts. Bye for now.